My name is Mr. Slager. Everyone also calls me as Mr. S, um, depending on if you're a student or not. Um, so part of the reason why I got into um, photography in general is um, due to those who are around me to help push me to um, become something else, to kind of push me out of a comfort zone. And I think that's why I chose to come to be a teacher is because I want to help students to realize that they have more potential in themselves and to, to see what they can truly accomplish. Um, one of the things that is challenging this year is all the situation with everyone coming in and out with quarantine and everything. Um, but that's just kind of, you know, a scenario that we get with um, the issues we have currently. Um, for me personally, I have been here for, this is my first year actually, so I haven't been here too long. And it's been pretty enjoyable and fun so far. Um, and it's, it's great to be able to be a teacher and to help each of you to gain a better understanding. Hey mom. What? Uh, you you know never never mind. Hello, Mrs. Smith. This is Mrs. Martin regarding your son. Oh hey, uh, Haley. Uh, so sorry. I dropped my computer the other day and broke the camera. <laughs> oh, that's totally fine. I'm just happy I can meet with you today. All right, so let's get down to this. Homework. Your son has been missing assignments. He hasn't been turning in his work and his grades are really low because of it. Oh, haha! Ha. Yeah, our dog Scruffy ran out of food and he's just beating everything up. You should have seen this nice purse I had. It's so pretty, so classy. Then the dog just gobbled it up. The, the dog ate his homework? Well, of course I would know. I'm the parent. Right. Um, anyway, let's move on to attendance. Uh, your son has been missing classes the last few periods. Well, uh, his grandma died. I, I mean, my mother. And he's just been taking it really hard. 
My gosh, I'm so sorry. I didn't know. Well, tell your son, take his time coming back to class. If there's anything I can do, please let me know. There's no rush. Oh, that is so kind of you. This loss has really shaken him up. The only thing that seems to make us happy is a, a candy. Well, I hope he feels better soon. Thank you for talking to me today. Have a good day. Of course, we'll see you around. Bye-bye. Welcome back to National Sports in One Minute. Today's episode, the NBA Finals. Let's go, baby, late show. L-A-C. Well, um, so there's that. Congratulations to the Los Angeles Lakers for uh, getting the dub yesterday against the Miami Heat. Or uh, Great job. Ty, overall, for um, the LA team, disregarding like regarding Kobe and Corona and all these things, how important is this win to them? I think it means everything to the Laker franchise to win this championship, right? In February, we the world was put silent when Kobe Bryant passed away unexpectedly in a helicopter. Tears crash. were shed that day for sure. Mm -hmm. And it's crazy too that then the NBA season was like stripped away from the players, and then we kind of had Rudy. this. Like, <laughs> Rudy shut down the entire NBA. Rudy, Rudy Gobert. Anyway, yeah, like the season was just stripped away from all these players. And then to get a chance to go compete for a title, yeah, for sure. like LeBron took it personal. He was going to win it for Kobe Bryant and Gigi. Yeah, and talking about LeBron, I mean, the man had a triple-double great game, 28 points, 14 rebounds, and 10 assists. So great game by LeBron. Heck of a game. But don't disregard the Miami Heat, man. Like – what a Cinderella story. Yeah, for sure. Like, who who even knew of the Heat after D-Way went to the Bulls? Yeah, like, you know. It was just crazy. I mean, besides them getting those sick jerseys. That's true. You know, just kind of crazy that they would come and compete against yeah. LeBron. Especially their circumstances that they had. Yeah. Crazy. Yep. Thank you for joining us in National Sports in One Minute. We'll see you guys next time.